Today, I want to talk about Automatic's improvements of Gravatar from Gravatar.com. I have never really looked at Gravatar other than just like using it for an avatar image for my WordPress websites. Gravatar was always something that was just this sort of stagnant kind of login service and really starting to see Automatic put a lot more, let's just say front end design emphasis, more product emphasis on Gravatar. These days, they just recently announced a lot more uh, payment options and Linktree style alternative feature functions inside Gravatar. And uh, we're going to dive in and take a look at it. Here's Gravatar.com. It's a free service. Um, It connects up with some popular services like, of course, WordPress.com, GitHub, Slack, OpenAI. And what this does is sort of bring that uh, identity, that... um, that sort of verification, that visualness of who you are and what you do across the uh, open web, air quotes, open web, (laughs) allegedly across all of these services. At the very uh, essence of it, if you're blogging with a WordPress site, whether it's a self-hosted WordPress site or a WordPress.com site, you can kind of use this as your author bio, or at least I think that's where they're headed to have this visual representation of the front end so people can find all of the things you do around the web. So your profile your way, manage multiple identities, privacy first design, made for developers, uh, so on and so forth. I just created a brand new account just to show off what the setup process is. This is where it dumps you off after you sign up with an email address um, and you put the approval code in. You have to continue to build your profile. It did pull my uh, image from my my avatar image from my wordpress.com account, which obviously already existed. If you didn't have that, you would upload it here. But at the very essence of it, you can already see this is something that is meant to replace that link tree style landing page. And again, this could just be something where WordPress is, or excuse me, Automatic is building this to um, adding more features to it to get people to use the Gravatar service, which is the, the obvious thing. But I really would like to see it sort of evolve into more of like that quick, even landing page style service, right? Something that you're not going to get. Um, you could certainly do with WordPress, but you're not going to get it from WordPress.com and you don't want the overhead of WordPress. This might be an interesting thing to see it evolve over time to become a quick landing page type builder. So the essence of it, you have your name, you can put in your bio. Let's just call this, uh, I'm making up a fake one here because I have my personal one, but uh, we'll call this uh, publisher at WP Minute publisher and WP minute. We'll save those changes and you can see very easily. It's just updating right here in the center with our Gravatar. We can replace our image there if we want. Uh, If we click into this, you can scan a QR code um, to make life connecting with you a little bit easier. But here on the left hand side, we have the, you know, interesting new features that they've launched. I'm not going to go through every single one of them because they're pretty self-explanatory. But things like verified accounts, um, you can click into these and connect up your Blue Sky account, your Twitter account, all your social media, your primary social media accounts here to be listed on the site. And one of the things that they're doing to sort of like promote these new features is you can get a free domain um, from Gravatar. They're doing a free domain with, I think, .bio and .link. If we go to claim a domain... Yeah, they're giving you .link for free, and they're giving you a .bio for free, um, and a bunch of other ones, I guess, for free for the first year. And then, of course, you get billed accordingly afterwards. But the tie-in that they're trying to emphasize here is with Blue Sky. Blue Sky, you can connect up your own owned domain uh, to Blue Sky as your user handle. So they're trying to say, like, hey, look, if you, you can get this domain over here in Gravatar, connect it up to Blue Sky. I mean, it's cool. If you, if you want a landing page and you need a, a, a link tree alternative, you know, this is a this is a fantastic choice, you know, again, in my opinion. I'm just going to leave it the same because I don't want to go through and do all the billing stuff. Um, but the other interesting area is getting into the payments. And there's a few things at play here. Um, one, they're leaning heavily into the crypto scene, which is really interesting to see. Um, they have PayPal. They don't have a Stripe, which is very interesting. <laughs> there's two missing payments here. Uh, there's the Woo payments and... Um, the Stripe payments. Is it Woo payments or is it something else? I forget what the actual name is from uh, from Automatic, but I, I'm kind of curious as to why these these those two are left out from something like this. Maybe because they don't have the connector service, but I mean Stripe definitely does. 
Um, so it's interesting to see those omitted from this list. Maybe they're coming soon, uh, but you can always add a custom payment, which is simply just a field, right? It's just a label in a field. So if you do have a Stripe payment, you could or link, you could drop it in here, call it, you know, pay me or donate to me or whatever, and then put in that um, uh, that link. So we take a look at the contact information stuff. Uh, very simple stuff. This is just field uh, driven, you know. Landing page building options, email, phone, contact form, and a calendar link. Um, so if you're using something like my favorite calendar tool, which is Savvy Cal, you can just paste your link in here, and that'll show up under the contact settings when somebody uh, clicks that and displays it, so long as you're actually you know, leaving your public contact information up on your Gravatar. Um, interest, which is a bunch of tags. You can just come in and say uh, WordPress, tech, podcasting. And that's just simply adding these interests here. Um, there's probably some network effect in the future coming where you can actually search for this stuff um, through uh, a GUI interface, um, but it also is in our API. Um, so if you're building a sort of directory using Gravatar as, as your source of, of search data, um, you know, that, that might be an interesting thing too. Uh, to do. Uh, I did want to mention that when you do put in your social media accounts, I forget to mention this before, uh, you do have to authorize them. I don't know what kind of data sharing happens when you do authorize uh, Gravatar with these social platforms. Uh, at first I was like, oh, this is an, uh, I don't want to just connect all my social media data to Gravatar, have yet another place that's hoarding all of the data. Um, but it is in a way to uh, authenticate that it is you. So you have to authenticate with that social media account and there's a little like verified badge that shows up. Take that with a grain of salt or you know, rather than just pasting in your own link, I guess you could do that uh, as well, but it's not gonna show the verified badge. It's not gonna have the other badges alongside of it. About all of this stuff we is pretty self-explanatory and then design um, pretty limited. You can have a, a gradient background. You can kind of play with this stuff and you know, choose how you want this to be displayed, um, but it's all pretty self-explanatory. Again, Linktree alternative, interesting if you need this kind of service. Last uh, but not least on the design side, there is this little like card that shows up um, in the places that will display this card. So let's say at the end of a blog post in some kind of uh, service that connects up to this, like a Slack or uh, a GitHub, that kind of thing, this will pull in and you can kind of design your card. Uh, like for instance, if you wanted, I don't have anything in there for payments, but you could have your little card to show up to say, click this link to pay me. And here's my uh, you know, domain. And you can kind of see the rest of the stuff on my landing page. So we're just gonna go through and finish this little onboarding, and the last one is to share it. And that's it. That's really as simple as it gets. Things that I think would really make this uh, a lot more interesting is if they started to add services uh, to show my recent content. So this is something that is very interesting to me as a content creator creating traditional audio podcasts, YouTube videos, blog posts. Um, having an RSS module in here would be absolute no brainer, especially for WordPress sites, right? Especially something that is for WordPress uh, people first and foremost. Um, having an RSS link in here would be fantastic to uh, show my recent blog posts and not just on one site, but on the many sites that I create blog posts on. Same goes for podcasts, same goes for video. Um, pull those videos in, embed the recent video, embed the recent podcast episode. Um, that would be fantastic. And then that would branch out to all of the different sites. Otherwise, free, dead simple. Um, now with the contact payment stuff, I mean, it's really starting to lean into a perfect sort of uh, link tree alternative. And now that you can get that free domain for a year, especially the more affordable ones like .link and .bio, I think are like $9 a year or something like that. So I think .link is $9 a year, um, fairly affordable. And if you're looking for that uh, alternative, it's a fantastic, fantastic start. Gravatar, who would have thought that Gravatar would be getting these enhancements uh, headed into 2025? Interested to hear what you think about Gravatar. Would, will you use the service more heavily? Are you uh, offloading to something else? Let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. See you in the next one.